Hey everybody, welcome back to another short video on using Craft CMS. Now, in this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at entries. Now, every piece of content that is in your Craft website is essentially called an entry. Now, these might be spread across different sections of the site, they might make up different types of content. For example, your homepage, a news entry, an event, a blog post, all of those are different types of entries. So I'm back into the Happy Lager demo website, which is provided by the craft team. Let's jump across into entries and take a closer look. So you'll see that we have this new navigation bar which appears down the left hand side and at the top we have all our entries and this should need no explanation. It is literally just displaying every single entry in the site. Now we can see it's been sorted by post date but there are a number of different ways that I could sort this, uh, this list of entries if I wanted to. I could also do a search for a particular entry and this will uh, narrow down the list obviously based on what I've typed in. I can also choose how I want that search to work. So I can look at uh, an average score based on the likelihood of what I've typed in matching a particular entry. Or I could filter down on the title, I could look at the post date, the expiry date, and I can also change whether it's ascending or descending. So there's a number of different ways that I can search through my entries. So as I said, we've got all of our entries listed in the All Entries section. Let's take a look at singles. Now singles are what we might refer to as static pages. And when we talk about static pages, we mean that there is literally just one of these pages. So for example, there can only be one home page. There can only be one about page. Whereas if we think of news entries, we might have multiple news entries that all follow the same format. So by just looking at our singles, we're not saying that these are static pages that we can't edit them. Yeah, we can click into each of these pages, we can make our edits as we see fit. But these are just the pages that exist really in isolation. Uh, they don't have too much dynamic content coming through them and they sit on their own. So let's take a look at our news pages. Now news pages, as we said, they might repeat on a particular format. So what would be common in a website with news pages is that a news, the, the structure of a news page will always be the same. It's always going to have the same fields and typically it will be sorted in chronological order by date. Now you might see between the singles and the news pages we've got some slightly different structures to our table here that's listing the entries. For example, we can see whether there's a featured entry. We can see if there's been an image that has been uploaded. So those all can be customised within Craft and if you would like to see other bits and pieces in that table that listings, lists your entries then please do get in touch and we can show you how to set that up. So the news entries, uh, like I say, they tend to be uh, listed in chronological order and they all follow the same general format. Let's click into services because these are the third type of content entry that we can have in Craft that is called a structure. Now I can see these are a structure because I've got this little diamond icon and wherever I see this diamond icon in Craft, that means I can click and drag to reorder a piece of content and that's exactly what I can do here. So I could take this strategy page and I can move it up and down. In fact, I can take any of these pages to reorder them and that new position gets saved automatically. Now there's one thing you do need to be careful with here because although this is really flexible and adds quite a bit of power into how you can use and uh, manipulate the content on your site, you can end up changing this URI. Now it's not going to happen in this particular example, but if you've got more content or more complex structure, you can actually have what we call nested structures. So for example, under development, I might have app development as a parent-child relationship between those pages. Now if app development moves into the development section, then the URI that we have over here would change and it would become services slash development slash app development. That's potentially a problem for search engines that might have indexed that page and then all of a sudden we move it and unless we tell the search engines that page has been moved, then that's just going to return a 404 error or a not found error as Google is crawling the site. 
So that summarizes the three different types of content entries that we have in Craft. We have singles, which are those individual pages that we looked at to begin with. Then we have something called channels, and that's uh, like the news section where the content follows a predictable and repetitive format. And then we have structures which we can move around the site and control through uh, the navigation and so on. So hopefully that's been a helpful overview of the different content types that we have in Craft CMS.